Hi, my name is Karen E. Wells and welcome to Module 1 on this Healing Your Inner Child course. Now, Module 1 is all about the inner child and the inner angst. So before we begin to look at this module, um, you've got the training manual which you would have found in the lecture before this module. So make sure that you download that and you have access to that. Um, some of the videos that we're going to go through, particularly in the early stages of, of the course, are primarily just highlights of what is within that in-depth training manual. So it really is imperative that you have um, the, uh, the training manual to hand. As we move further into the course with the self-hypnosis tracks, this is really going to bring everything together for you. So it's going to bring together the healing, the learning, the forgiveness and the acceptance. But the early modules really are, um, or the videos are highlights of what is contained within the training manual. So let's have a look at module one, which really is the inner angst um, and the inner child. So when we're talking about um, the inner child, it's not simply the young innocent child um, that you were, that we're referring to, but it's the person that you are now, if you like, that adult self that's um, absorbed the difficulties of life, maybe, that have gone through relationships, maybe heartbreak, um, self-doubts, financial stresses. When we think back to certain points within our childhood, of course, in some ways, for most people, it would have perhaps been a carefree time, but not for everybody. As we move into adulthood, there becomes extra responsibilities like mortgages, rents, um, families, children, whatever it is that brings about that sense of responsibility. It's also how we are coping with certain things that were put upon us as children or that were created inside of us, as, as you like. As we move further into the course, we'll, we'll start to look at that more. But it's about the um, that carefree part of us, but it's also about um, the adult self that's responding to certain things in a repetitive sense. So there's certain significant events that happen um, in early childhood, and one of the later modules we're going to cover that. And these things are really starting to take effect on that child on a very deep level. And in fact, it's very well known that that starts before the child is even born. Once the fetus is within the womb, um, the fetus is able to hear everything. They can sense anything. They know exactly what's going on. They're very aware of how mum and dad feel about the pregnancy, about the fetus, about their circumstances. So they are fully aware of what they're coming into, if you like. Again, we'll cover that later on. Um, in the course. So following birth, of course, um, the care you receive during these vulnerable infant stages really are of the utmost importance and the connection um, of emotional vulnerability was, was vital that was staged there as well. So it's about the words, the emotions and the feelings that were experienced that were absorbed within that child and within the subconscious mind um, that served to create that future environment. So within this environment, things like guilt, self-esteem, nerves, trauma, behaviours um, are contained and each of those have the power to impact us as um, an adult. Now some people seem to on the surface sail through life, they seem to uh, really not uh, have any problems but what's going on underneath? If you've come to this course um, to work on things yourself, then you've really come uh, to take a deep look at yourself and to really heal and let go of these things that have been holding you back really since childhood. So we're looking at some traits to um, consider. Um, you might feel that perhaps your life is fake and you're pretending to be happy, but inside something's actually eating away at you. You try to store the feelings away and you find maybe you can't commit to projects because something stops you in that process. This could be indicative of inner child um, issues. So there's of course many indicators, many factors in that. Um, they might be being overly competitive. Um, it might be a dependency on others or addictions. 
an inability to forge strong um, friendships, being manipulative, being passive or aggressive, taking too much responsibility. Now, you might reflect on those and think they're not necessarily relevant for you, um, but maybe it's something a little more subtle. This is going to really allow you to reflect through on everything really in your life. So it's about self-helping the inner child. It's that part of you that's screaming to be heard, to be expressed, um, and to really be listened to. Now, we've put some information about meditation in there. Of course, meditation, hypnosis, very similar things. We'll talk about that later in the course as well as we come to those uh, modules. Um, we've put some information there about visualizations, but of course, you can also um, do all of that when we, we bring in those self hypnosis tracks later in the course. There's some information on what was developed by Carl Jung, um, who was a psychiatrist, a psychotherapist, a very famous one that developed um, areas of modern psychology um, that were in particular in association with the unconscious or the subconscious mind. So there's some information um, on his theories there. So it would be good to go through those in the training manual. Now, once you come to the end of this module, there's quite a number of tasks to do there. So take some time to really reflect on um, what you need to, what we're giving to you in these self-assessment tasks. When you've done them, we're going to see you on the next module. Have a great day.